the effect on those players and that group, isn't it? They're, they're going to training, get ready for Brighton next, which is obviously a massive game. You just It's hard to know how important that last couple of minutes and that goal might be. Well, I, I think it was. I mean, I don't remember Newcastle having loads and loads of chances there, but oh. um, what I do know is that Newcastle equalised in the last kick of the game. And I know when you, when you play football, if you do that, it gives you a massive mm. boost. So they'll go in the dressing room there, the Newcastle players, and think like they've won the game there. So they can go to Brighton and they can hopefully push on to that. And if they get, again, it's, it's still in their hands, which is what I like. Yes. Once it goes out of Newcastle's hands, then we're in trouble. But uh, at the moment, it's still in our hands. Yeah, and that boost compared to what they might have gone in, feeling sorry for themselves, got a game that they maybe, well, certainly Jamal thought they had a foothold in, yeah. taken away from them. That would have been the opposite effect, clearly. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with him uh, in the sense that they had the most chances. I think they did OK. Mm. Um, the last 10 minutes, they, they come alive, they opened up. Rob's right in the sense of when you when you score a goal like that in that circumstance, it gives you a boost. If they wouldn't have won this game, you'd have been sitting in that dressing room thinking, it's come off Kieran Clark's yeah. knee and gone in. You know, is it is it just not going to be our year? Is it going to be the time that we're going to drop out of Premier League? So they'll have a big boost. The Brighton game's huge. Yeah. And I and I think I think as long as they keep their, their necks above above that 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 bottom three, they'll be alright. If they drop in there. You know, he talks about the characters in the dressing room. It is, it is time for the for the senior players yeah. to really drag them drag them in forward because they're, they're they're okay. They do they do things, but I think when it it breaks down far too often in the final third of a little bit of quality. You see, you've got Andy Carroll now who's come mm. on and had a little cameo. Jacob Murphy, can we can they build on that yeah. next game against Brighton? And and and, and Steve will be. Steve would be relieved, I think, more than anything. I think, mm. I think for that, he, he's still in it. And, and like Rob says, it's in their own hands. Yeah, and I think Callum Wilson may be two or three weeks away. That would be a huge boost too. But your, your body language, your shoulders <laughs> when that one went in off, off Kieran Clark. It would have been every Newcastle fan would have felt the same. Got it. Yeah, as I say, I, I think a, a draw was a fair result is what I, what I saw of the game. Um, but this was uh, it's just what happens when you're at the bottom. You know, we've all been there. It's... Uh, he got in front of the players. It was, it was good movement for him, but the header wasn't going to, pro, going to cause any problems to... Uh, he, he could have got closer, but he's still... The cross is, is OK, it's good movement. It's a flick header. It wasn't going to cause the broker any problems, and it's just got a wicked deflection, yeah. you know, and you find yourself one down, which is against the run of play a little bit. Interesting, actually, the movement. Yeah. Talking about Joe Linton, yeah, that's, he should exactly look at that. Exactly what I was going to say. That's, the, that's Ollie Watkins. That's a striker mm. who, who's desire to score goals, got a knack for goals. And they're just... Like I said, it's nothing exceptional, but he's constantly on the move in the box. And and if you do that, you get your des you, you get your luck. You, deserve, you know, be guided that it's gone down it's, as a it's difference between a confident striker. Yeah, and yeah, that's fair. A striker that's got no confidence, you know, yeah. just yeah. stand in there. Yeah, unfortunately. And obviously, it's the skipper who gets the all-important equaliser. But you rightly put it out. Andy Carroll's a magnet for defenders, yeah. and maybe that creates well, listen, the panic. It wasn't just before. There's a three minutes before, and all of a sudden, you got Andy Carroll coming on. Concert and Mings, who were brilliant throughout, they're, they're, all of a sudden there's another body to pick yeah. up. They know the danger. Murphy come and had an impact, come and drop short. That's a lovely ball fed into the area. That's, and it's a fantastic head of Isla Sales. I mean, yeah. you know, when if you want your captain to step up in moments like this, that's what you want. And that could be a crucial, crucial goal for Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. And similarly, again, I'm looking at you always because you're my bellwether for this <laughs> team and this club. When Murphy's big chance, Cannon's back off the bar, you're thinking, oh... He, not does, made to he, be this. he does so well. He does so well. I mean, two Villa players fall over and he whips, whips it. And you, again, when you're at the bottom, <laughs> when you're at the bottom, they hit the bar. When you're when you're yeah. flying high with confidence, they they go in. You know, yeah. he, he done everything right. I mean, it's uh, it's just very very unfortunate. Yeah. And, you know, he's looking at his face there. You think, what else have I got to do at the score? You know, but know. the only thing I'm disappointed with, you know, a, a, a Newcastle forward didn't look like scoring. You know, Joe Linton was a pest. He was a nuisance. You know, he does, he's very strong, he's physical, but when he gets in the positions where it's important, yeah, he always seems to make the wrong decision at the moment. Yeah. You know, his strength there, I mean, it's great. Comes in, he should shoot now, left foot, and try and whip it across, but he doesn't. He takes another chance because he's not confident, but he's, you know, he, he, calls, he calls problems. Well, how do you use him best? How do you get... Get more well, out of him. Well, in Germany, he was he was a hustling, bustling winger that could nick a goal. He was never he's never been prolific in his career. Someone at the clubs put their name to spending 40 million for him, and he you know he has got qualities. Mm. Like you said, we could, there is things, but more often than not, in the final third, like Rob said, he's low on confidence. You know, so if if you're going into a relegation battle where the chances are going to be few and far between, look in this situation here, yeah. 
he could, he, could, he could have gone near post, he could have gone under the goalie's leg. He could have, you know, just decision making. It's all, it's, it's all, and I feel for him because he's, he's, he does some good things. We could have done some positive things where he's, he's hustling, busting, holding the play up. And I can see why Steve's persevering with him. But I just think he, he just seems like a striker that's just shoulders down. And you can't, you wouldn't back, put any money on him if, if this game carried on for another 10 minutes and the chance fell to him. Yeah. But burying it, you just wouldn't do it because of where he is at the moment. And of course, the Newcastle number nine, it's such an iconic number, position, history, all those things, I guess, you think you end up dragging them round. Well, I, I, listen, Matt, I find, I find it amazing, as Joe said, £40 million. Pounds. It's not his fault. No. By, by a long way, because it's not. he doesn't determine what he, what they pay for him. But, you know, someone to, well, <laughs> to give a winger the number nine shirt at Newcastle. I mean, the number nine shirt is, as you say, it's iconic. It's a talisman. Mm. Number nine shirt in, in Newcastle, probably any other club, you have to score goals. Yeah. You have to be the centre forward. Maybe when Callum Wilson gets crosses in, he won lots of headers. Uh, you know, he's even running back and tackling. I, th I thought he'd done well when he came on, and, and Murphy as well, but just didn't do enough to win the game, did they? they just, no. And again, a forward hasn't scored for Newcastle. I get, from, I imagine the Newcastle fans at home are saying, why didn't we do that half an hour ago? But I get the balance between trying to protect the point uh, yeah. as it was and not going gung ho too early, but. Yeah. That's exactly the word, Matt Banner. They're, they're not capable enough to throw bodies forward. Yeah. Because even at the end, it was exciting for us, it was mm. exciting for the Newcastle, for, for the neutrals. But the, Villa broke away and nearly scored twice yeah. because they'd opened up, because they'd had a go. I mean, this, 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 these fans and this, this club is used to Rob's team, you know, gung-ho, forward play, all that exciting teams. They haven't got the players to do that anymore, no. that's for sure. But they give us a great 10 minutes of action at the end. And like I said, I think... Andy Carroll needs big credit for coming on and he changed the game. Murphy as well. I think them two. And, and, and Steve Bruce, maybe he could have done it a bit earlier, but, you know, in the end, it's a point. And, this, you know, from Villa's perspective, they'll be devastated going down the motorway tonight because they thought they had that in the bag. Yeah, they did. They did. As it stands, though, a point apiece. Doesn't do an awful lot for Villa's European aspirations. They stay in ninth. They were briefly about to leapfrog Liverpool. They don't now. But Newcastle do pick up a point and now they're too clear of Brighton and Fulham and it is the trip to Brighton next. So given the, the whole game? Uh, over the course of the game, I wouldn't say it was a fair result. I thought we were the better team. I thought we had the better chances. Um, you know, it was a difficult game, but in terms of chances created, I thought well, it seemed like we uh, created the most. And then the, the one chance they had, it, you know, a deflection that goes in. And, you know, I guess that's football, but we just have to keep fighting to the end, and we did. A cruel way, as you say, to, to concede, I suppose, but when so it looks against you sometimes, these things happen, don't they? Yeah, exactly. I thought we were playing some good football. I thought defensively, a pretty solid all game. I thought, you know, it was on the front foot, we were creating chances, but it just we weren't going in the back of the net. And then, you know, the one chance they have gets a deflection, it goes in. Um, so, you know, it was, it was hard to take. and. You know, at the end there, we're just throwing everything forwards and, you know, we've got a bit of a look back ourselves. Perfect reaction with, with perhaps the last action of the game. Yeah, um, great ball. I think Jacob Murphy crossed it and then I just, you know, just went for it. And, uh, you know, considering we were uh, losing one nil, I think it's a, a good point to take. How much is the fight now going to be down to perhaps players like yourself, the experienced players, the senior players, to, to get yourself out of the situation you find yourselves in? Yeah, I think it takes character. Um, I think, yeah, it just takes character, leadership, and, you know, we've just got to stick together. You know, positive thing, you know, we've got a really tight tight group and, you know, we all want to succeed. And I think the performances have been a lot better compared to the start of the season. And, you know, now we just need... Um, I think we've had three draws now, but we need to start getting three points and winning games. It was described as a, as a must-win game. I suppose the, the next ten, a, a lot of them will be must-win games now. From yeah, here yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we would have been devastated if we lost, but you know, the fact we went down and then you know we made it one-one. It's uh, you know we're still fighting. You know, it shows that we've got you know a lot of uh, personality, a lot of character and um, togetherness, and yeah, we've just got to stick with it.